Welcome to a Key Smash Studios tutorial. This is part three of our Advancing Rollerball series. This portion, we're going to be adjusting the win state that was created inside that Unity's Rollerball tutorial, and we'll be adding on a lose state as well. As I mentioned, this is part three, so if you haven't watched those previous parts or you haven't watched Unity's Rollerball tutorial, be sure to check all those things out. I'll link Unity's tutorial as well as the playlist for this tutorial in the description below. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. So to go ahead and begin, we're going to create a menu controller. We won't actually be creating a menu quite yet in this series, we'll do that later down the road. But we're going to go ahead and create this script for it so that way we can have our win and lose states inside this. And then we're just going to be adjusting this win text from the Unity's Rollerball tutorial. So now that the script has compiled, we can go ahead and open it. And the first thing we're going to do inside this script is create a public reference to a game object. This game object is going to end up being a panel inside of our canvas that will have our text attached to. And so we're going to do public game object end panel. And what we're going to do with this end panel is have it set active whenever we win or whenever we lose. And then we'll also use it so that way we can change the text that was created previously in the Unity's Rollerball tutorial. So that way we can say whether it's a game over or if you won. So we'll go ahead and create a you lose and you win function. So we'll go down here and we're going to make it public so that way it can be called from our character controller. And it's going to be void because we won't be returning anything. And we'll go ahead and do lose game first. And so like I said, we're going to be taking that end panel. We're going to be using the game object function set active and we're going to set it to true. And then next what we're going to do is again take that end panel. And this time we're going to get its transform and then we're going to get the child of that transform and this child is going to be our text mesh pro and we're going to have it be the first child of our panel so we're going to put a zero here for the index as your index will go from zero being the first object to length minus one being the last child inside that panel and then we're going to do get component after we've gotten that child. And then we want to get our text mesh pro U GUI. And that's underlined because we need to add a using, so we'll do that in a second. And then from that, we want to get the text and we're going to make it equal to game over. And so now game over will display to the user whenever we call this lose game function, which we'll eventually call inside of our player controller whenever the player is hit by an enemy. So now we need to go ahead and add our using. So our using is going to be TM for text mesh and pro. Now it'll recognize that text mesh pro you GUI so we can properly adjust the text of it. Now we can go ahead and create our win game function. This is also going to be public. We'll make it void because it won't be returning anything. And then we're going to call it win game. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing. So our in panel is going to be set active to true. We're going to be using the same panel, whether you win or lose, we're just going to be adjusting this text to either game over or you win. So again, we need to take our in panel and get its transform. So that way we can get its child and it's going to be the same child of our text. And then we're going to get the component of that text. And the component we're getting again is the text mesh pro GUI. And then we want to get the text of that. So that way we can adjust it to be you win. And that's everything that we'll be doing inside this menu controller for now. Again, we'll come back to this in a later video so that we can actually have menus for our game. But for now, we're just going to use it to hold our lose game function and our win game function. So now we can go ahead and go over to our player controller so that way we can actually call these functions where they're needed. And so the first thing we need to do inside this is actually create a reference to our menu controller. So we're going to make this public as well. And we're going to call it menu controller. 
And then we're going to create an end game function inside of here. So we'll just go down to the bottom and do void end game. And inside this, what we're gonna do is take our menu controller and we're gonna call its lose game function. So that way our panel will be set active and our text will be set to game over. And then we're also gonna make our game object, which will be the ball itself, be set active to false. So essentially when the player dies, we're gonna have it disappear from the screen. And then we wanna call this end game function inside of our respawn for our enemy. So we're no longer going to respawn when our enemy hits us, we're just going to end the game. So I just commented this out, but you can just remove this line completely. And so just to reiterate, whenever our player collides with anything tagged as enemy, we're now going to call that end game function, which is going to call the lose game function, which will activate our panel and let the player know the game is over, and it will deactivate the object in the scene. Now what we wanna do is go up here, and we're actually going to get rid of this win text object. And here we're gonna call our menu controller, and we're gonna set win game to be called inside of this instead of setting active this win text object. And so we can go ahead and scroll back up to the top as well and go ahead and get rid of that win text object as we now have our menu controller controlling that text. So we'll go ahead and save and that's all we'll be doing for this tutorial. So we can go ahead and go back to the scene. And then what we need to do is go to our canvas and our canvas is where we're going to attach our menu controller. And we forgot to delete this one as well. So we'll go ahead and remove that to get rid of that error and go back to the scene. And so now with our menu controller, you can see that in panel popped up. So we need to go ahead and create that in panel. So we're gonna right click on our canvas, go down to UI, and then go all the way down to panel. And I'm gonna call this my end panel. And this essentially just provides a background to your UI. So that way you can read text easier and it feels more finalized. So now I'm going to drag this win text onto my end panel and I'm gonna put my end panel at the top. And then I'm going to change this win text to just be final text. Cause it's no longer just winning, it could be you win or it could be game over. And now that that's done, we can go back to our canvas and go ahead and add this end panel game object. And now what we need to do is go to our player and go down to its player controller and add our menu controller, which is attached to our canvas. And what I'm going to do is click on this end panel and disable it so that way it's not there at the start. What you could also do is in here where we previously had this win text object set active to false, you have a few options. You could create a reference to your end panel inside your player controller as well, and then have this be the end panel instead. Or you could even do it inside your menu controller and inside of start, have your end panel be set to active false. But I'm just gonna do it inside the inspector so that way you can see the different ways to do things. And we're gonna go ahead and save and test and play. So I'll go ahead and show you the lose state first. So if we run into the enemy, it says game over. And then now if I replay and collect all of the little cubes. You can see it says you win. So that's all for this tutorial. We just created a simple win and lose state and had it display on the text in our scene. Eventually we'll have menus that will be tied into those win and lose states. So that way they can go to a main menu or simply click replay and do the level again. I'm also going to adjust this text just real quick because the game over text didn't quite fit. So I'm just gonna type game over here so I can better adjust it. And then we're gonna make its width 250 so that way it fits better but that's all for this tutorial as always i hope it was helpful if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave them in the comments or you can join our discord and ask them there we make videos here every monday wednesday thursday and saturday but we also stream games on twitch 
Tuesday and Friday. We have an app on the Google Play Store called Blast Off, and we have an asset pack of kids toys on the Unity Store. We also have a Patreon with a YouTuber supporter tier, so if any of those things interest you or you'd like to check any of those things out, I will link all those things in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.